address a few things before I begin. Uh, I'm really honestly sorry that I have not gotten the amount of videos out lately that I'd like. That's due to a couple things. Uh, a trip overseas was one. Uh, the lack of video editing software for a while, that's another reason. And just general computer troubles and time restraints. I mean, I have a lot going on. Uh, so, I mean, I hope you guys understand and, you know, as sort of a thank you for sticking around, I'm going to do a video that, uh, well, I've kind of had troubles on in the past because I filmed this video before, um, it got a little bit expensive for me, you know, successfully filmed it, uh, and then the card, the SD card that it was on, uh, somehow got wiped and all my footage was lost, so I really don't know what happened there. But, uh, so, you know, I consulted my friends on Discord, um, the Explosions and Fire Discord, I might add. Um, if you haven't checked it out, I highly suggest you do. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, and they said, the, the guys who run the Discord said that I should totally redo the video. And so, you know, I thought, well, why not? And that's what I'm going to do today. So, what I'm going to be making is a compound called Silver Peroxide. It's sort of a blackish powder. Uh, actually, I have some right here in this dram vial, if this will focus. It doesn't want to focus. I want to focus. Here, I'll do it manually. It's a sort of loose black powder, a lot different to the brown of normal silver oxide. Uh, silver peroxide has the formula Ag2O2, and although I'm not sure if it's a true peroxide, that's just what the uh, colloquial names for it. So, um, without further ado, let's get to the synthesis. Oh, um, actually, I should mention before I do anything else, this experiment and this video would not be possible without the help of Tom's lab. Tom's Lab is an awesome chemist here on YouTube, and a great guy as, as well. Um, he helped me get a um, precursor for this synthesis uh, that I probably wouldn't be able to get otherwise, or at least easily in any case. Um, and so this video really wouldn't be possible without his help. So please go over to his channel, subscribe, leave some likes, some nice comments, stuff like that. Okay, so what I have here is just over 20 milliliters of distilled water in this beaker. Now, it's very important that you use distilled water with any sort of soluble silver, because if you don't and you just use tap water or filtered water, I've made this mistake in the past, you'll precipitate out pretty much every single silver salt of, you know, whatever's dissolved in your water. So if you have any sort of carbonates dissolved in your water, you're going to get silver carbonate. Uh, it's, it's silver is really, really picky about, you know, the purity of what it's dissolved in, especially water. So, with that being said, here I have exactly 7 grams of silver nitrate. Move that aside. You can see it's just a white, sort of off-white, colorless, crystalline compound. And I'm just going to add this to the water in the speaker here and get it to dissolve. Oh, another thing. Uh, I highly suggest you wear gloves and goggles like I am doing this synthesis because silver stains really badly, especially uh, silver nitrate. It'll create you know, black silver stains on your skin that you cannot wash off, you cannot scrub off, and it'll, they'll stay there for days or weeks. So I, you know, besides it being, you know, normal laboratory practice, I highly suggest you wear gloves for this. Okay, so... Now, I'm going to add the silver nitrate. Well, it seems there was something on the funnel that I was using. That's what that yellow stuff is, so don't mind that. That really probably won't mess up our synth. Okay, and now I'm just going to turn up the stirrup and get this dissolving. I'll come back when that's done.
Okay, now that everything's dissolved, I'm going to go ahead and stop the stirring and take this off. And we'll go ahead and get our next solution prepared. Alright, what we'll need next is potassium persulfate. This was generously donated by Tom's lab. So, how much uh, are we going to need here? Well, uh, the synthesis that I'm following calls for 1.5 grams, but in the past, you know, in my past experiences, that hasn't really been enough because there's still been uh, silver left over in solution. So, I, uh, well, the synthesis called for, yeah, 1.5 grams, and I just upped it to 2.2 grams. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add this to 50 milliliters of distilled water in a beaker and stir to dissolve. We'll come back when that's done. Now, last time I tried this and filmed it, I really couldn't see it well enough on camera. So, and I think that's because the concentration of the reagents was too high. So I'm going to go ahead and dilute this with probably another 50, to, well, probably actually 25 milliliters of water. Distilled water, I should add. Do not use anything but distilled water in the synthesis. Okay, now that everything is dissolved, I can go ahead and add the silver nitrate solution. On second thought, actually, I want to get a good close-up of this. Uh, so I'm going to put on the macro lens I have and get you some nice close-up footage. Much better. All right, here we go. Now, as we can see, there is a fair precipitate of black silver peroxide formed. Now, when this is done stirring, uh, which will be probably another 30 seconds to a minute, I'm going to go ahead and filter this and dry it. Yeah, oh, one thing I want to point out is do not heat this. That decomposes the silver peroxide. As with most transition metal peroxides, it is fairly unstable when wet. So you're going to want to filter this and dry it as soon as possible. Do not, like, put it in the fridge to see if you can get out more or whatever, because that's just going to, you know, give it more time to decompose. Uh, don't boil it for sure, because you're going to lose everything that way. Um, just, you know, leave it, and, you know, it'll, it'll be fine. So, yeah, I'm going to let this stir for a little bit longer, and I'm going to filter it. Alright, so I've made it. Now it's time for you guys to see how it looks dry. As you can see, it is a fairly dark, almost steel gray powder with a very fine consistency to it. Let me get even closer for you, actually. It's got a fairly light consistency, somewhat similar to its other oxide, which I will show alongside this. I'm going to compare these, uh, well, at least the two oxides of silver that I have side by side so you can see the difference. Okay, so what I have here, let me zoom out just a tiny bit. Okay, what I have here are the two common oxides of silver. On the right, I have um, silver 1 3 oxide, which is the one we just made also known as silver peroxide, and I just found out the formula is also uh, Ag4O4, so Ag2O2 is, you know, just the monomer, I guess. And on the left, 
I have silver 1 oxide, or Ag2O, and that's, you know, brown as we can see. It looks a little darker on camera, but it's more of a brown sort of tan in real life. Not not tan, it's, I mean, it's still brown, so I know it's still silver oxide, but um, a few interesting things I just um, found out about this one here on the right, silver 3, silver 1,3 uh, oxide, is that it can actually dissolve into concentrated nitric acid to give the um, silver 2 ion, which is pretty unusual. There's only really... There's only one complex that I know of that has the um, sil uh, silver in the plus 2 oxidation state, and that's some sort of pyridine, like tetrapyridine silver 2 or sulfate or something like that, but I don't have any purity and otherwise I'd make it. Um, it's also the uh, oxide that is in um, silver batteries. So, oh, uh, one thing I'm also forgetting, it's also a mixed valence compound, um, which I don't believe that silver 1 oxide is. So, you know, it's sort of like a chevrolet salt, if I'm correct. Uh. Alright, so this was the synthesis of silver peroxide. I really hope you enjoyed. You can like if you want to, subscribe if you want to, and thank you very much for watching. Don't worry, I'm coming back. I've got more videos on the way. See you next time.